one day he woke me up and he said, who will go for us? Because I was reading that in the prophet Yahshua, Yahu, who will go for us? I said, here I am. And I, in my heart, I just said, man, I want to meet this guy. You know, the, uh, who will go for us? And where will he send me? It doesn't matter where he sends you. You have to do it. I live a, among a people. I am a man of unclean lips. Or I was a lot more before. But, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Just like the prophet Yahshiyahu. They call him Isaiah. They can't seem to spell his name quite right with the Greek and Latin, but his name is Yasha Yahu. I'm going to talk to you about that a little bit later. Uh, the Hebrew alphabet, how to spell things, how to say them, but it's really messed up. But the question of this video is, is Alazar still among us? Is he among us? I think he is. And the reason that I think that I've posted on several web pages and recorded them in my books. But when people ask me to explain myself, I remind them that they shouldn't be concerned about one another's mission, but follow the purpose that Yahushua has given for them to follow him. Uh, Peter, or Kepha, had known young Alazar. Al Alazar, what's that? Well, that's the real name, Alazar. It's a Hebrew name. He was the younger brother of Miriam and Mar Martha. And uh, they, they lived in Bethania. And uh, that was a little city where priests would have to temporarily go when they were unclean. And he knew them for a long time. In fact, he referred to young Alazar, they call him Lazarus. It's a Greek corruption as the disciple whom Yahushua loved. And remember one day he got sick and he was almost at the point of death and he sent a messenger and he said, the disciple whom you love is near death. You've got to come back. And any, anyway, the disciple whom Yahushua loved is the only one that referred to himself in the message they call the Gospel of John. John he doesn't refer to himself by that name. That's just what people do. Well, his name really was Yahukanan. Also, they had several names. People had several names. Peter was known as Shimeon and uh, Peter, Kepha. Well, anyway, Yahusha raised the disciple whom he loved from the tomb, from the grave. You know, he said, unbind him. The shortest verse in the scriptures. Yahushua wept is in that same message. Peter had known young Alazar, as I said. And he was the brother of Miriam and Martha and had raised him from the dead. Well, the risen Yahushua, about the third time that he'd appeared to his disciples, by the side of a fishing pole, you know, at the lake in Gennazareth, and they had not caught any fish all night. They decided to go out. There were several of them. And one of them was the disciple whom Yahushua loved, and Peter. And um, they, they, they'd they been out all night, didn't catch anything. So suddenly, uh, they see a person on the shore yelling at them. <laughs> and they, they didn't know it was Yahushua. But he says, hey, little children, have you caught anything? And then they said, no, not a thing. And, he said, throw that net over there, and uh, he, they did, and they picked up 153 giant, big fish. And the disciple who Yahushua loved told Peter, it's the master. <laughs> Peter rips off his clothes, jumps in the water, and the rest of them are trying to haul these fish in, in this giant net that didn't break. It should have, but it didn't. And they get there, and after breakfast, you know, they ate some fish and some bread. And, and uh, it's interesting because Peter is walking along and the disciple whom Yahushua loved that wrote this is behind him. And they're walking along. And Peter is reminded and said, 
you know, this is the way I'm at, he's going to die. Yahushua was talking with him, saying, you know, he explained to him how Peter was going to die. Then Peter got to thinking, well, what about him, the one that was following them? And uh, Peter turned and saw that the disciple whom Yahushua loved was following him. And this is the one who had leaned against Yahushua at the supper and said, Master, who is going to betray you? When Peter saw him, he asked, Master, what about him? And Yahushua answered, If I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. Because of this, the rumor spread among the believers that this disciple would not die. But Yahushua did not say that he would not die. He only said, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? This is the disciple who testifies to you these things and who wrote them down. And we know his testimony is true. That's Yehuchan in 20, verses 20 through 24. What is that saying to you? Is Alazar among us? Is he someone that you've seen? Well, I want to explain some things. People say Yahusha, and people say Yahshua. I remember Yahshua being a popular, and now it's Yeshua. Well, Yeshua is not, it's not a name, it's a word that means salvation, deliverance. I will show you my deliverance, you know, Yeshua. It's, uh, you know, four, four letters in Hebrew. But that's not his name. That's just a, a hypocharisma or a diminutive form that's found once. I think it's in the Kenya, chapter 8. But um, Musha, or Moses, made up this name Yahusha for the first time in Numbers 13. And if you look that up in the interlinear, you'll see it. He called the son of Nun Yahusha. He called Husha Yahusha by adding one letter to the beginning. See, Hebrew, this is, this is a script that's known as Aramith that came from Babel. This is real Hebrew. And these are the corresponding letters. Hebrew is read from your right to the, to the left. We read from the right to the left. I mean, no, we read from the left to the right, excuse me. <laughs> I mean, I'm backwards here. Anyway, this is the script of his name in Aramith. yod Hey ua or yahu sha And this is not Shua. It's found 216 times. And this is the way you see it most of the time. This is a, 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 a oo sound. It's a U. It's not a double U. It's a U. It's Yahu Sha. And the Sha is a suffix that modifies the name. The suffix is a modifier. And this is based on the on the same prophet's name, Yasha Yahu. Yasha Yahu. Yasha is three letters. It's Yod, Shin, Ayin. Yasha is the first part of the prophet's name. Well, Yasha is the root, and Sha is seen in names like Alisha. Alisha. My Alahim is deliverance. Not that his name is deliverance, but he it's a modifier. Now this is real Hebrew, and it's Yod, He, Ua, Yahu. Sha. See the teeth sound, that's really not a W as we see it. That's a, that is a two teeth. It's a pictographic. This is sh uh. Sometimes this is an E sound, but most of the time at the ending of a word it's ah. Uh. It's Yahusha. Now people are saying Yahshua with an unbelievably uh, invisible vowel being heard. Well, vowels are like yod, he, ua, and ayin is a vowel. Well, they're written vowels. They're, you don't have to add anything or take away anything. This is an impossible word. 
that we hear that we hear people use. It's not found anywhere in Scripture, and it's Yod He Shin Ua Ain. This is Shua. This is Yah. You hear you hear people say Yah Shua. It's like they took this Yod for, that was supposed to be over here, and they move it in between these letters. And this would be uh, viable as a word, but it's not a modifier, possibly. Uh, and it is found twice, isn't it? Yeah, twice. It Only there's another ua right here. There's a, You don't take it and move it. It isn't Yahshua. You lost your letter. You're supposed to have it over here. There's two places where this is found as Yahushua. Yahushua. But you don't remove a letter and change the word. That's his name. You shouldn't mess with his name, but they say his name is Yahshua. This is not found anywhere in Hebrew. It's not found. It's spelled this way. I'm just trying to show you the, the Hebrew letters and explain to you that if you can find yod Hey shin ua ayin anywhere in an interlinear, please let us know because it doesn't exist. So I just want to try to straighten that part out. Thanks for watching this and please like and subscribe and watch for our videos. If you click the bell, you'll get a little notification. Bye now.